Hi, my name is Greg Paulson. I'm the Director of Project Engineering at Zometry. Today we're going to be looking at impact resistance between three materials made with three different 3D printing processes. Selective laser centering, fused deposition modeling, and polyjet 3D printing. For the model that we made, I decided to choose a disc golf disc. This is because, first off, it's one of our favorite hobbies at the shop. But also, it is a great way to see what happens when you hit a tree, or hit a wall, or hit something else. The first disc that I have here was made using selective laser centering. The SLS process grows apart from the bottom of the top using a white nylon powder. Now this part is blue because I chose on the finish to make this blue dye. So we actually afterwards will put this into a dye vat and stain the part. The second part that I have here is made using fused deposition modeling. This material is red ASA, very similar to an ABS plastic. Something you'll see here versus the SLS is that I have much more pronounced ridge lines which are due to the growth of the part. FDM is made by zigzagging a melted filament growing your part. The third part that I have here looks much smoother than the rest. This is made using our Polyjet 3D technology. It uses much smaller build layers and builds with a liquid photopolymer. And you're gonna find that it has a much better surface finish. But you also see when we go to the test, it may have some deficiencies as well. So let's put it to the test. I'm gonna grab some safety glasses, I'll meet you out back. All right, so we have our three discs here in different materials, and we're gonna throw them against this handball court wall and see what happens. All right, so first off, we're gonna try our SLS nylon dyed blue. All right, so that went really well for the nylon here. You can actually see the point of impact. There's a transfer of dye that happened. Dye only penetrates about a quarter millimeter in the part, so this is an unexpected. Actually, I think these little tiny chips that I see here on the side came more from when it bounced off and hit the rough asphalt on the bottom. But you can see here from an impact resistance standpoint, nylon really stood up. So we have our red ASA material. Uh, we're gonna throw it against this concrete wall and see, see what happens. Actually, why don't you give it a try? Oh -ho. All right, so the red ASA did not stand up as well as I, I thought. It actually delaminated because of the impact force on it, blasting off a few of these pieces. This is why we were safety glasses, kids. It still is a very, very strong material, but as you can see, the weakness happens actually on the Z layer. All right, the last material, our rigid white photopolymer made of polyjet. Let's see what happens. Let's talk about what happened here. The polyjet is more of an acrylic base as far as the family of the materials where it comes from. So when it breaks, it actually shatters. It snaps on you. And this is what's left of our disc. This material uh, is very good for the aesthetics, for the cosmetics, but when it comes to high impact or end use environments, may not be the best choice. So did it break? Yes, it did. We found that the SLS nylon actually withstood the test here against the concrete. FDM stood up a little bit. It weakened on the Z, which caused this to flex in and pop some chips out. Polyjet's kind of self-explanatory. It's definitely not as impact resistant as other materials, but it sure is pretty. Uh, you can always test your own parts and go online and get some quotes yourself. Uh, we actually quote in multiple processes and many configurations as well. Zometry.com. If you have SolidWorks, you also try out our, our free add-in. The add-in can be downloaded right at zometry.com and you can actually quote, get the estimated shift dates and feature feedback right on your SolidWorks platform. All right, thank you so much for joining us.